Okay, so now that we've got the basics of how to control a robot, what if we wanted to have two robots on the screen and get them to do something synchronized? Well, to add another robot, you're just going to click Add Robot, and when you do so, you'll see another robot appears on your screen. Now, the position of the robot, second robot is up to you. You can change both of them. Now, they're independent, so they have their own initial angles. They have their own initial positions, so you can change that to whatever you want it to be. Um, You'll also notice that another robot tab has popped up. So now, if I click on this guy, I can add, hey, I want you to turn, and I want you to go right also. So if these ones, um, let's make it 120, so we'll make a triangle. Hello. All right, so now if I do this program, this one turn goes forward, and then this one goes forward. And you can see the blocks of code being executed one at a time. And so you're thinking, huh, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted them to both be going together like they were in a dance video or something. So the way that the, you do that on RoboBlockly is you scroll all the way to the bottom. When you get to the bottom, you'll start noticing that the same functions occur, but they have this NB. So if I take out this drive distance and put drive distance NB, so let's go ahead and try that. Go to the very bottom drive distance NB. Let's just see how that changes the program if I just change that. And what you're going to see is that this one, it starts it starts uh, turning as it's going. So that's not actually what we want. So instead what you want to do is you want to do the uh, drive distances together. So this one is non-blocking. So the red one is going to drive. And then immediately it's going to initiate this code. So th they're both going to be driving. This one, however, is a blocking code, meaning it won't execute this line of code until this is finished. So now if I do this, you see how they're both driving at the same time? And then this one turns to the right. So now I have to add the same code for this one to turn to the right. So um, there also is a non-blocking turn angle. So I'll go ahead and put that up there. But I don't want it in that case. I want it there. The order really matters here because I want this to be block non-blocking so that these two are at the same time. But I want this to be blocking so it doesn't do that. It doesn't start turning until it's finished moving. So that's why this one's blocking, and then this one is non-blocking because I want them both to turn at the same time. And then of course this one's blocking, meaning I want you to finish turning before you start moving again. Okay. So let's see what that looks like, and you can see now they're moving in unison. And so now, oh, of course I didn't have the right angle. If you finish it, you should get a nice picture that looks like this. This is your goal, is to get this type of picture here on your screen, which is four blocks of four robots all moving in unison, changing the background color each time. And at the end, you should have four blocks and a little message. Thank you. Enjoy the video.